What's up guys, welcome to episode two of How To Fortnite. What's up guys, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another episode of How To Fortnite. In episode two today, we are going over the guns and the gun loadouts of Fortnite, and more specifically, what loadout to use based on your skill level with the game. Whether you're a brand new player or you're a little bit experienced, there is a loadout that's gonna work for you, and I'm gonna give you the information to help you hopefully figure out what your favorite guns are and what your loadout should be. Once again, it is personal preference, but after you know the information on the guns, it's pretty easy to decide what you want your loadouts to be. So without further ado, let's jump into Fortnite. I'm going to explain to you guys what each gun does and when to use it, and then we're going to craft some loadouts. All right, guys, so here we are in a match of Playground. I've gathered up all the ARs in the game, and we're going to go over them really quickly. We've got the regular AR, which is a fully automatic assault rifle. We've got the burst AR, which is a three-round burst assault rifle, meaning every time you click your mouse, it's going to fire three shots in rapid succession. You're not fully automatic. you got to keep clicking. Then we've got the SCAR, which is a step up from the fully automatic assault rifle. So this one will also fire if you just hold down your mouse, fully automatic. Then we've got the FAMAS. This is the upgrade to the three round burst. Another one where you click and it fires three rapid shots. And then we've got the suppressed scar, another fully automatic weapon, just a suppressed variant of the scar. So a good rule of thumb is the normal AR, the scar, and the suppressed AR, the fully automatic weapons, are good for people who haven't fully developed their sensitivity yet. Now that doesn't mean you can't use them once you have your sensitivity, it's just normally people who don't have the good sensitivity don't want to go for a burst rifle. Because tracking someone when you only have three shots every once in a while is a lot harder than just unloading on someone as they run. So if you're still working on your sensitivity and you're using a burst AR and finding yourself missing a lot of shots and then getting killed, I would say try to stick to the ARs as much as possible, develop your sensitivity, then move into the bursts once you know that you can hit those first shots, those key shots when you're dropping in on a player. But if you have your sensitivity incredibly ingrained into your muscle memory, I highly suggest giving the burst rifles a try even if you don't think you'd like them. Give them a try because when you hit those three headshots and you've got that accuracy, it can be incredible what you can do with the burst AR. And now we move on to the shotguns of Fortnite. We've got the tactical shotgun, the pump shotgun, the heavy shotgun, and the double-barreled shotgun. So for people new to the game, there is another clear option, and that is the tactical shotgun. Reason being is the spread of the bullets is a lot wider, so you don't have to be near as accurate like you do with the pump shotgun, and then also the fire rate is much quicker, so you can get more shots off and be sure to get those shots in and hit your opponents before they hit you. So when you're first starting out, I would recommend using the tactical shotgun, getting your aim and your sensitivity down, and then you can graduate to the pump shotguns. The pump shotguns have a slower fire rate so you have to be more methodical uh, with your shots you have to make sure you're hitting them and make sure you're on the opponent before you pull the trigger and then also the spread of the pump shotguns is a lot smaller the bullets don't fly out as much so you really need to make sure that your crosshairs are on the player um, the pump shotgun does deal quite a bit more damage than the tack so I would recommend you make sure you find your sensitivity and get your aim good because upgrading to the pump is fully necessary then that brings us to the heavy shotgun I think this is an upgrade for both the tactical shotgun and the pump shotgun whether you're a beginner and you don't have your aim down or if you're experienced and you do have your aim down I think anyone can be using the heavy shotgun it's got a bit more spread kind of like the tack does so it doesn't matter if you're super accurate it does a ton of damage and it's got a little bit faster fire rate than the pump so it's similar to the tack in those ways so if you're a beginner definitely pick up the heavy shotgun when you can I think it is the best shotgun in the game and lastly, that brings us to the double barrel. Although a good shotgun, I am not a huge fan of it. You have to be really, really close to the opponent. You can fire two rapid shots just like that. It's almost like a double pump shotgun, but you really have to be right in the opponent's face. So keep that in mind when you pick up the double barrel shotgun. You need to be very confident in close quarter fighting. That includes build battles because if you're not going to kill the opponent in those first two shots with the uh, double barrel shotgun, it's most likely going to turn into a small little build battle and you should probably build up anyway, get to some safety so that you can reload the shotgun because the reload time is absolutely garbage on the double barrel shotgun. So I would say leave the double barrel to more experienced players, but if you want to dabble in it, make sure you give it a try. My last little tip about shotguns is I would recommend with the pump, the heavy, and the double barrel, 
always carrying an SMG with you because you want to get a fire off and then you want to switch to the SMG and spray. It's the shotgun SMG meta and it's almost required when you're picking up one of those three shotguns because the fire rate and the switch rate between two shotguns is way too slow. If you're using the tactical shotgun, you can carry an SMG with you as well, but the fire rate is so quick that it's not fully necessary in my mind. But in the end, it's all personal preference, so that's just my thoughts and tips, but now let's move on to sniper rifles. Alright guys, last but certainly not least, we have these sniper rifles. We've got the hunting rifle, we've got the bolt action, we've got the heavy sniper, we've got the scoped AR, we've got the thermal scoped AR, and we've also got the semi-auto snipe, but I do not have that in my inventory. I cannot fit it. So we're going to go through each of these. First up, we have the hunting rifle. It's one of my favorite sniper rifles. I love it so much. When I find a blue one, I just get so happy, and I'm going to take it most likely. Um, the one thing that's different about this is you do not have a scope, so you're aiming down the sights of the gun. You're not actually scoped in, but this can make for some incredibly quick sniping when you don't have to look down a scope, and then also your field of view is much better when you're using a hunting rifle so you can see what's still going on around you for the most part. Next we have the bolt action sniper, nothing too particular about this one, pretty standard. You got a fair amount of bullet drop when you shoot that sniper. Um, next up we have the heavy sniper. This thing is a freaking tank. It can take out builds in one shot. It has little to no bullet drop on close shots. You can see you just aim right at the llama and you kill the llama. So this thing can make for some incredible sniping and with about 150 body shot and instant kill headshot, it it makes for some awesome clips and I love the heavy sniper rifle. Then we've got the normal scoped AR. This thing can laser if you've got the accuracy because you could just sit there and unload on someone and if you get that headshot, 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 nobody stands a chance and it is a very fun gun to use when you get the chance. Then we've got the thermal scoped AR, similar to the other scoped AR, a little bit slower fire rate and obviously it's thermal so you can see heat signatures on bodies and chests. This one's a bit harder to be accurate with, so you might want to get your sensitivity and your accuracy down before you try to uh, use this as your main sniper rifle, but it is fun to hit those headshots with that as well. Then we have the semi-auto sniper, the one that I do not have in my inventory. It's similar to the bolt action with its bullet drop and scoping in, but you have multiple shots in your clip, so you do not have to reload after every shot, but the damage is far less. I do not use the semi-auto snipe very much. I trade it for pretty much any sniper I come across when I pick up the semi-auto snipe. So the thing about sniper rifles is there's really nothing I can recommend for beginners. Every sniper rifle is for everybody. There's really no specific reason to choose one over another based on your skill. Um, the heavy sniper is a bit easier to snipe with because you don't have to get used to a shit ton of bullet drop. You don't have to play for bullet drop near as much till you're shooting a uh, really far distance. Um, when it comes to scoped ARs, I might lean towards the uh, regular scoped AR over the thermal if you're newer because the aiming is pretty hard to get down on the thermal, but then again, you're never going to learn unless you practice. So it really is up to you guys. Um, choose your snipers however you want. Just know that sniping is extremely fun and make sure you have one in your inventory. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you got something from it. If you are new, just keep in mind that you should probably be using a fully auto AR and a tactical shotgun until you get used to your aiming, then switch over to that burst and pump and do some damage. But once again, I just want to let you know, I can't say this enough, it's all personal preference. If you're brand new and you want to use the burst AR, and if you think the burst AR is your favorite gun in the game, then turn this video off, do not listen to me, grab the burst AR and just get out there and win some matches, guys. That's all that matters. Just have fun, win some matches, and do not let um, all these specific gun types and whatnot make you not have fun. Just pick the guns that you like and uh, get out there and play. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you really liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.